Welcome there, disc followers. You are tuned into another exciting edition of Morning Round with your host, Greggy Biscuits. I'm Greggy Biscuits, and today, special breaking news. This is big stuff. We are very excited to have in the house, Queen of You Play herself, Zoe Andike. Zoe, oh, have some exciting stuff to talk about today. How are you? I am so stoked right now to be on here. Thanks for having me, Greg. And hello, everybody out there listening. Woohoo! Let's go. Yep, we're going to get this uh, turned around and put out to the people because we have some exciting news. So exciting, I had to put on a more colorful shirt for the interview. Uh, we're talking disc golf strokes, Zoe. Lay, lay the info on the people if they don't know what we're talking about. Disc golf strokes. Take me back to May 11th, 2023. Oh, man, thanks for setting the stage proper. If you guys all just want to close your eyes and visualize the coolest fundraiser that has definitely ever hit the world of disc golf and not been done before. So unique. We got the disc golf strokes. So on May 11th, we had some professional touring disc golfers show up to the OTB shop and parking lot. We had the entire parking lot chain link fence lined up with like really nice quality canvas and a lot of paints set up. We even had like, you know, the parking lot covered. I thought we did a really good job, didn't we, Greg? Like you know, it, it basically disappeared that. without a trace. It was pretty incredible. Uh, we tried to use as much recycled well, recyclables as we could, so we had plenty of cardboard lying around. At one point, we did think about covering the entire parking lot just to be safe, but you know, because we could. But you know, we opted not to. But no, uh, that was all smooth. And uh, give me give me the roster of uh, of of players slash painters that night. Well, yeah. So um, I just want to let everyone out there know what we did is we lined the fence with this these huge canvases. They're six feet tall, and then each piece was actually eighteen feet long. But we had two of them, so we had six art stations. And station number one was actually James Conrad and his girlfriend, Jordan Kim. That was uh -huh. a really special collaboration for our station one art piece. Station two was Paige Pierce, your five time world champion. Some call the goat. We all know she is the queen of some love and some beautiful artistic flow herself. And Get then well soon Paige. <laughs> yes. Um, then we had next to her, a really super powerful team of, I would say disc golf, uh, heroines, you know, like basically some of the longest distance throwing and happiest faces in the game, Ella Hansen and Raven Klein in station three. Um, next to them was Simon Lazat at his very own station. Oh my gosh. Loved it. Yeah. He was the beginning of that second canvas and he kind of had his own little groove going on there. And I just, I loved, I loved it all, but we'll get into that. So then right next to that was the Uplay station. So multiple artists in here, but spearheaded by none other than Pirate Nate. And then, Shout of course, out. Justin Keegan. So the two of them making magic on that canvas, getting it going strong. We had some special appearances by, like, Lou Humphreys, Megan Brown, um, I believe Angie Smith. A couple, a couple more of the U players, if you will, big volunteers and big coaches on the team. And then the... The finale that I'm going to introduce, it's like the finale excitement in professional disc golf, professional artist, professional graffiti artist, if you will, none other than Patrick Brown, major legend of the game, artist in our game, artist of the world. And he, he sure created one of the most beautiful pieces of graffiti saying you play disc golf for this very specialized fundraiser. I cannot wait for the public to see all of these pieces, but you know, Patrick, I have to say he put it down. He really, really made something special. It, it is really quite the exclamation point to the, uh, to the evening and to the line of canvases when you were, if you happened to be there, it was a very special evening, but uh, the way it materialized. So again, this is, this is pretty incredible. You got six, six stations, art happening, music. Where did you come up with this idea, Zoe? Oh, yes. So we, Uplay has a core team. Um, it's like a weekly team of volunteer and employees, but it really boils down to four strong members in Val Jenkins, Tanner LaBelle, Dustin Keegan, and myself. And Tanner was kind of getting hyped up and excited about the idea of painting and, mm -hmm. and some, having pros 
paint. And he mm-hmm. came up with the name Disc Golf Strokes in one of our like in-person meetings. And him and I and Dustin just kept bouncing off the idea here, there, here, there. What could we do? And we even we even kind of started brainstorming for future years and next year at this time. And that's where we we broke down the idea. We need this to be during an elite series disc golf event that has the most pow and bang and awesomeness and color. And it was like a no brainer. OTB, only the best. <laughs> and that's when I got in touch with you because we knew that the painting the very first year and the activity itself was was going to be a learning year and a building year and a really special first process. And so, so yeah, that, that it was about a month and a half before I contacted you guys, maybe two months, actually, I think it was in March. Mm-hmm. I contacted mm-hmm. you. Was it, all, it was all happening pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we got it together and we really, you guys came through as the title sponsors and supporting sponsors of the events in the supplies and in the, in the place and the time to do it. <laughs> the DJ. Can we shout out the DJ? You know, I wanted to shout out uh, our man, DJ Josh, uh, who actually made this uh, or I, in season, got the coffee there this morning. Uh, multi, multi-talented person. And uh, he held it down throughout the, uh, throughout the set with the tunes. Yeah, and he, he read the crowd. DJ Josh, man, he really started our first year out so, so stellar. And it flowed. It made the disc golf strokes really help paint themselves because he – he saw the energy of, of the pros, of the art that was happening. I was emceeing it. You guys, you know, blessed me with a microphone, which is maybe one of my favorite things to have in my hands. <laughs> Just pass, <laughs> pass, so, pass her the mic. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll have a little more on that later. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it all, it all was birthed there. And then the partnership behind it and the understanding of, of what the, the root ball meaning or what the goal behind disc golf strokes would be. And so it's for the people, the programs that you play puts on obviously this fundraising and these art auctions and the end result will support, but the, the tie to the art for the people from the people that, that they look up to as their heroes on, on disc golf network mm-hmm. or weekly on the tour. And for, for those specific players, I think of, I think of Paige, Simon, Ella, Raymond, Raven, James, everyone, you know, all of us, Patrick, and for them to just take a moment out of their busy evening right before competition started and look at that table of paint and throw, splatter, smile, paint their, you know, feet, arms, legs, body parts to just get that paint on there in a way they could express themselves. It really just wraps up the detail of um, for the people, from the people, let's get the people together, kind of a community sharing process of disc golf strokes is um, it's really special because these these disc golfers really got to put themselves into these like beautiful pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three months later, I'm still finding uh, a little bit of paint on my garments. So it's a it's a nice reminder of a special time and like so many things, a collaborative effort collaborative idea that just sort of crystallized over time, but took that little extra leap of faith. And I'm glad we, I'm glad we went for it because again, as, a, as far as a practice run goes, I think we, I think we kind of nailed it. I think we and, nailed uh, it. And it was but fun. Now, <laughs> but now we've got this great art, we've got this experience, but we've, we're trying to help you play. And that's why we were more than happy when you reached out to support you. We love supporting, you know, education of disc, disc golf all over and you play is at the forefront of that and uh we appreciate all the hard work that you do and the community building that you do so what's going to happen with these canvases what's going to happen uh going forward as we approach the end of the disc golf season 2023 wow what a year it's been yeah and it's it's also strange to think that we're on the downslide of the season you know it's feels like we should be halfway through where did summer summer go but Mm -hmm. (laughs) these pieces were saved for a very special time um you know the disc golf pro tour and the entire summer season is packed full of things we wanted to bring it on the last six weeks because there's six paintings so Mm -hmm. we're going to start on september 4th and these are week-long options or excuse me auctions back-to-back mm-hmm. weeks all the way until the tour championship. So each weekend, um, or each week, excuse me, we're going to have a week-long op- auction starting with the Uplay piece of art. Um, where do people go to, to put their bid in, first of all? what's the wh- how, Where do I find the art? 
All right. Yeah. Thank you. It's going to be located the auction and the way to bid is on discgolfstrokes.com. Just like what you think, D-I-S-C-G-O-L-F-S-T-R-O-K-E-S.com. And that will also, you know, that'll give you a chance to bid. And really special for this first one, we've got a, a buy it now button for, you know, if somebody just sees this art and they can't live without it, that'll be at the bottom of the page. And the minimum bid is going to start at $25. So wow. um, discgolfstrokes.com is where you find it. Again, September 4th is the first one coming out. Okay. We are going to announce the winners. So that's a Monday. We're always going to announce the winners on Saturday of, so on September 9th. We're going to end the auction at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. And all day long, we're going to celebrate on Sunday the winner of this special piece. We've put together, we've gotten these really specialized mailing tubes. They're a little over six feet long, and they're going to come not only with the piece of art that's won, but with, we've got a few of the discs that served as painting trays. And then of course the smocks, the painting smocks that each artist won. So it's really three pieces of special commemorative gear and the piece of art all being shipped off and we'll celebrate the Sunday of each auction. Yeah. Wow. And then if so you that's uh, that, quite the Quite the special bit of memorabilia there, unique collectibles. And again, just like doing it for a good cause. So again, that starts on September 4th. It's the Uplay Canvas, collaboration between Pirate Nate, Dustin Keegan, and others. And that auction is going to end on the 9th. So again, starts on the 4th, ends on the 9th, and then who's next? Yeah, let me go down the list. This It'll all time up and you guys can kind of plan ahead to look for it. Mr. Simon Lazat himself starts the week of the MVP Open, September 11th. That auction will end on the 16th. And then the week of U.S. Women's, this makes perfect sense. We're going to have Ella Hansen and Raven Klein. So that auction starts September 18th, ends on the 23rd. Paige Pierce, PP5X, starts on 925, ends on 930. And then James and Jordan, the really special collaboration of love. That's the very first week of October. That's the second that it starts and it ends on the 7th. And during our, the week of the Pro Tour Championships, we've got Patrick Brown's piece starting on September 9th, going to the 14th. Wow. That's going to be a, a, great, a great run of auctions. And uh, I'm excited to see where these pieces go. I forgot to tie the tournament to James and Jordan's because pretty much each piece is released with uh, the artist in the week of, and this naturally fell into place. Mm -hmm. It wasn't planned this good. It's the universe and the disc golf strokes and the love bringing it together. But James and Jordan's is during USDGC throw pink. Oh, how perfect is that? I mean, come on. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. MVP, easy to remember uh, for Simon. So that's that week of the 11th, and then U.S. Women's, great celebration of our FPO field there in North Carolina. Looking forward to that one. Then we've got a week to really hype things up before USDGC and the Tour Championship. That's, uh, that's some exciting news, Zoe. What, uh, what else should people know about this Disc Golf Strokes? Well, I think now that you guys all know how to access it, where to look for it, kind of where it started and, and where it comes from, know that we're building this into something bigger every year but let's all let's all take just a few moments to think about what it is we're supporting actually because i said it was from the people made by the people for the people but it's uh -huh. not just for the recipients and the winners of the auction again let's take it back to why we're raising money and i think uh -huh. um i think a lot of times you know our you play disc golf is celebrating six years of being incorporated tomorrow on august 17th actually <laughs> Well, happy uh, happy anniversary. Um, yeah, thank you. And it, it's it's taken all of this time, plus you know even even a whole lot more between a lot of volunteers, a lot of supporters, a lot of donors, which is how we essentially operate all of our programs. But what you play disc golf does, and what this this fundraising is for, um, I think you it. it the viewer or the listeners out there would be really well served to go to youplaydiscgolf.org to check out our main partnerships and, and our main programs 
to kind of get a feel for and, a, and a, a smile on their face and an understanding for how far each one of our teaching programs really go from the curriculum donated uh -huh. so that that ripple effect can be taught to the equipment to use um, and then to the discs separately that are donated. There's always putters throughout the last couple of years where the kids are taking them home and we're, uh -huh. we're actually asking them to teach their families how to play. They all come with nice little U-disc QR codes on the back so kids can always find disc golf access disc golf, watch disc golf, or, you know, like understand who the pros are. And each one of our partnerships from, from the disc golf pro tour being, you know, our major partner and longest standing partner to UDisc right there next to them. And then what we do in partnership and collaboration inside and outside the pro tour with Paul Macbeth foundation being uh -huh. supported and also, um, partnered with or supported by the PDGA, just efforts behind the PDGA. Those, those partnerships and those programs are all supported and believed in and give you play this opportunity because the ripple effect is bigger than we've ever seen. And we want to be able to raise funds to keep the programs not only just going and surviving anymore, but we want to be able to make sure that we're planning for you play's sustainable future and making sure that I mean, I know the book's in 26 countries, but we want to make sure that everywhere around the world continues to have a Uplay or access to it. And that's going to take like a sustainable amount of fundraising to expand on staff and to expand on being able to deliver, you know? Uh -huh. So I guess I got a little deep into it there, but if everyone just wanted to kind of take a look at some of the, some of the worldwide opportunities and programs that we're doing with PMF and PDGA International, and then um, what we do best with the disc golf pro tour that's that's a huge kind of zoom in on the major stuff you play is doing but the unique fundraisers are even ways to teach develop and help people understand things uh -huh. to do in disc golf you know each unique bring your own partners dubs or how you can motivate good behavior by running this fundraiser <laughs> you know it's like there's a lot of really uh -huh. special things about you play that we want to continue to support and we want to continue to expand amazing volunteers again get up on the website and fill out a volunteer form if you guys have special skills we've got so many people in unique locations reaching out every day and i want to shout every one of them out for helping let's continue to make sure you play can do it that's awesome i love watching the recap videos each week seeing the local communities that you play impacts it's such a cool model where you're following the pro tour and you're adjacent in those communities. And so maybe not everyone gets to get out to the tournament, obviously, but at least they get that exposure to hearing the chains bang, being there with the pros, connecting on lots of great levels. And speaking of international travel, you've got a trip coming up to Africa, do you not? Yeah, and you guys, some of this Disc Golf Strokes fundraising is, is uh, gonna help support some of the final details and pieces of this trip. But yeah, it's our big time international Paul Macbeth Foundation where they're sustainability partners in education. So we are headed to Uganda right after the tour championships. We're going to be there for a little over a week teaching university professors, uh, community coaches and youth teachers while we are um, giving them the entire Uplay format, leaving curriculum, leaving discs. We're also kind of doing a live um, I guess you could say seminar for them with their students. So the, the kids are going to get mm -hmm. just as much of the fun as they normally do. And then we're running a B tier for them in Uganda. So it'll be the first uh, sanctioned event, PDGA sanctioned event. Then we're headed over to Kenya. We'll be doing the same kind of a thing and also running a sanctioned event there. And that will end the Uplay Disc Golf touring season. So we, we can uh, kind of recharge wow. for the back half of November and December. <laughs> I thought I thought we said it was already half over. It sounds like that's a lot to squeeze in before the uh, twenty twenty four gets here. Yeah, we're yeah. There's still all these events on the the pro tour nationally, and then we've got this this Africa trip that you know in two different countries. I, I feel so lucky to live this life and to assemble these teams. If I could give a big shout out to Chandler Fry, Raven Klein, um, her boyfriend, her significant other, Alex Meyer my board members um, and self-funded 
Kim Johnson, Sarah Henderson, and then myself, Dustin Keegan. And then for the second half of the trip, we we're thinking James Koizumi out of Canada. So shout out all those people going on the PMF Uplay sustainability trip to Africa. And thanks for bringing it up, Greg, because it is such important work. We're getting continents on board, you know, at the more places in the world PMF is building and finding we're going to we're going to go solidify that they can do what we're doing bigger and brighter things in the future for disc golf and thanks a big part to that to people like Zoe and organizations like you play Zoe thanks so much for coming on morning round with me and chatting about disc golf strokes disc golf strokes hey if you're an artist if you're a music lover, because I think a lot of this art was driven by the music that night. Um, if you're a disc golf lover, or if you just want to support the work for the people and the things that help our communities become a little healthier with a little better well-being, make sure you yeah. check out Disc Strokes. These are big, unique pieces. They would look great in uh, social spaces, public spaces. Uh, so yeah, if you want to support disc golf and support the continued growth, support disc golf strokes. Zoe, thank you. I know Dustin's hanging out there too. Thanks, Dustin. <laughs> yep, yep. Thank you so much. We love OTB because it's only the best news. Thanks for delivering. Uh, it's our pleasure. Uh, shout out to Stan Lee for handling things on the ones and twos. We're going to get this uh, turned around and hopefully we can have all the links and so people can see what we're looking at and maybe we'll get a little fancy with it too. Uh, Zoe, enjoy the rest of your day. Sounds good. Traveling soon. All right. See you down the road. Thanks for stopping by.